I reacted to Yes recently. It was the first time I ever heard them and I was absolutely blown away. Man. But it was a version of them singing in their later years and I was really interested to hear what they sounded like when they first started out. So here we go. Because this isn't the best audio recording, but... Okay. Oh. It's a little bit jazzy here. I mean, I cannot get over how great the musicianship is in this. They're so... They're just incredible. Um, it is um, John Anderson's voice. Actually, I kind of agree with some people in that his voice has developed and... I, I kind of prefer his voice when he's older. I know that a lot of people, you know, it's, it's contentious, but I feel like that's a really great testament to him. Most people's voices deteriorate as they get older, but he's kind of kept his voice going. It means that he's worked hard on his voice and he's kind of kept going with his exercises and he's kept singing and he's kept stretching his range and doing all the things that keep your voice going, much like your body, um, you know, your voice ages and all the parts of your, your anatomy of your voice ages too. But much like the body, if you keep it going, then you can, you know, you can keep your body going for a lot longer. You see people who are doing ballet and they're like in their 80s. So it's exactly the same. You can, with, you know, great care, still have a great voice and maybe even a better voice into your later years. <laughs> And it's not all about technique as well, right? Wow. The guitar playing is so incredible. Give me the shivers. I have to say, these high notes are incredible. I'm not sure if he can sing quite as high I'm not uh, nowadays. And uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I feel like we get a bit too hooked onto the fact, like, what note is that? Is that an E or is that an F? Like, oh my gosh, if I can sing to an F, it means I'm a good singer. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. What makes people a good singer is uh, how well they connect with others. And I think that connection has definitely improved his he looks way more comfortable on stage, um, I think, in his later years. Whereas here, 
he's still great but uh, for me and maybe it's just this one performance as well you know you tell me you know I'm sure people watching this know yes way more than me (laughs) this is only the second performance I've ever ever really watched of them so I I might be being an idiot I don't know (laughs) let me know if you agree with me It's like overwhelming, overwhelming amount of musicianship. Changing time signatures. I don't even know how you go about writing a song like this because to me it's so fluid and so I I think it must come from you know uh musicianship between the guitarist and the vocals because I don't think that you can just write a melody and then those sort of musicianship comes out of it it has to be a collaborative piece I would say it feels so organic so fluid whereas often melody is confined to a certain structure so the, it feels like it's like it's it has lots of structure in it they definitely know what the structure is but it's so kind of wild and out there that like yeah i don't know how you go about writing that <laughs> harmonies it's almost jazz you know It's amazing as well all these different sections going into this like very ethereal kind of spacey section and back into this driving rhythm again. I don't know if I'm going to say anything worthwhile in this video because they're kind of just show it. It's like so much. I can say everything and nothing at all. Joy from virtuosity. Yeah, that's it.
Okay, so the reason I'm saying it sounds kind of jazzy is the way he's using his vibrato. It reminds me of a band that are probably got a lot of influences from this band actually, of Dirty Loops, um, who take a lot of kind of jazz influences and prog rock influences. But na 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 na, with that vibrato that is really fast and pushes up right at the end, na 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 na, just right at the end. It's such a jazzy thing to do. Thing. It's jazz. <clears throat> In harmony. Ah! incredible and this song originated from the idea of going from Aberdeen to Glasgow and going through lots of roundabouts and then this came out of it what thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one Bye.